Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Taurus for the month of August. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. If this does not sound like your story, check your moon and your rising. Um, if uh, you don't find your messages there, check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. Okay, so the spear over here speaks to heartache over what you no longer have, okay? And beneath that I see we have the broken bridge. Um, so something, something was broken. Um, this situation will require careful handling um, especially um, if you've been confiding in someone about your situation, um, thinking you could trust them with your secrets, you need to be more careful because there's a suggestion here of somebody gossiping about your secrets. Um, that, of course, will also require um, careful handling. With the bell, we see that there will be some type of announcement, news, um, and the eagle suggests that there will be triumph over your problems or the problem you are currently dealing with. So, moving to the center, and the central issue here is being afraid to take a risk. Um, this, I feel, with the Four of Cups, um, you're unhappy with your options. Um, you are wanting an offer from the past, but maybe you were not entirely happy with that offer. You clearly want it uh, because she is reaching for the sunflower here. Um, also, you're very highly, this is like a very intense uh, attraction you have to this person. I don't think you, you feel that or have that feeling with anyone else. Or that you've had that feeling. Or if you've been separated for some time and seeing others, it's like you, you, it's not the same feeling. You're assessing uh, this situation, this break, okay? Um, trying to decide about uh, healing the relationship, but you're confused. I feel this is you who may have walked away from the relationship because you're in the reverse here, Queen of Pentacles. But you may be grieving that decision. Perhaps um, you may think that while well, you were, uh, you could have been upset about something and, and took a decision without really thinking about it. Maybe you think now in hindsight, maybe it was you made a hasty decision or you're simply regretting a decision that you made. Um, you probably were not getting along um, or didn't feel that you could uh, build something or that you guys had the same ideas or the same goals in mind for the relationship. This would have been why you walked away from it. They may have said something to make you upset. So this would be why you would be fearing uh, taking that leap of faith again on this person. You may, um, you may have brought an ending to something, um, made a sacrifice, but are not feeling um, good about it you're feeling out of balance or the emotions are out of balance with regards to uh, what was done. 
but I think that you felt that this person uh, may deceive you or were deceiving you in some way. In some way, you felt that they were uh, taking from you. You're you're in the nine of swords over the lovers reverse. So you're you're in this um, in this uh, energy of uh, fear, maybe guilt, even um, worry, anxiety. You're worried. Should you take the risk? What would happen? Would you regret it? So you're in the Four of Swords energy. Uh, healing from whatever you feel happened at that meeting or um, whatever you feel those person's intentions were, things that were said. And you're in, in reflection um, on a new beginning also about taking a risk. So that, that energy is like back and forth do I take it? No. Should I? Shouldn't I? Will I regret it if I do? Did I make a mistake? For some of you, it is possible that it is um, a, a hidden relationship or secret relationship with the seven of swords at the root and the two of cups here um, that shows a relationship hidden behind a curtain. It's not going to be that way for everyone, but I have to mention it because it is there. So this is about putting an ending to disappointment or to pain that you are currently feeling. The intensity for this person is still felt. It is still there. And thus, this is why you are thinking of reigniting this flame. You see, here's the hangman waiting, thinking, reflecting how to get the desired result should you. Um, what might need to be sacrificed in order to do this. This is the ignite, ignition of the flame, putting an ending to something that was painful. And here we have the very deep, intense attraction. You, um, you don't want this to end, um, but you, you, you fear um, facing, facing something, facing your fears, um, you fear uh, these three swords puncturing the heart. You fear being wounded. You're, um, you could be watching this person uh, from behind the scenes, trying to uh, like to feel uh, the energy or get a feeling of what's going on with them. Um, it shows that you come out of, of hiding, um, deciding to take control of the situation to try to heal it. Now I'm saying you, 
But I mean, this could be their energy also. It could be vice versa. But what I see here is somebody that was afraid. I feel that they are preparing. They've been watching, getting a feel for it. Um, yes, they're afraid, uh, but they may feel that they have to do this. Um, here we have preparation mode, uh, pre preparing to do something. Um, evaluation for what? A new beginning, a change with the wheel. And now we have the fool in the upright. So whoever this is, is now going to take this leap of faith, possibly make whatever changes are necessary to change things for the better. Again, the emperor taking control, yes. The cup of pleasure, this is um, the ace of cups. So, whoever this is, steps up, steps out of hiding, out of the dark, takes control of the situation brings in healing to a situation. A leap of faith, a leap of faith on love. There is a, just that one caution here uh, with the parrot and the grasshopper um, to beware of gossipy people or beware of uh, people uh, you trust in to keep your secrets. So you finish here with very nice cards. You finish up here with very nice cards uh, with the eagle and the bell. Triumph over troubles and obstacles. I thank you for watching, for liking and sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to you.